Indian chess is blessed with champions who have boosted the stature of the sport with their unrelenting dedication, passion and never say die spirit. One such person is Bhakti Kulkarni. Hailing from the state of Goa where chess was almost non-existent, this tenacious champion has almost single-handedly popularized the sport in her state. This has resulted in Goa having two GMs today and some of the brightest young talents. Bhakti is two times national champion of India in 2018 and 2019, the Asian junior champion in 2011, the Asian women's champion in 2016. She was part of the Indian team that won the gold medal at the online Olympia in 2020, the silver medal at the World Team Championship 2021 and the historic bronze medal at the Chess Olympiad 2022. In all senses, she is a path breaker and an inspiration to Indian chess. It gives us immense pleasure to inform you that Bhakti has won the Arjuna Award for her phenomenal achievements in chess. We asked her as to what were the qualities that helped her to win this award, to become such a strong player and to that she has replied us with 10 qualities that have helped her to become what she is. Let's see what Bhakti has to say. I'm going to share with you all few things which I feel helped me to win this prestigious Arjuna awards. The first thing I would share is I feel I'm very zitti, very determined, not just in the field of chess, but overall as a person. For instance, in 2015, I had gone to uh, UAE to play in the Asian continental. And after the end of the last round, I just could not manage to be in the prize list. That was the day when I decided that the next year's Asian I'm going to win, whatever happens. And the whole year I really worked hard and in 2016, I won my Asian Continental Women's. It was my first uh, Asian Senior title, which I won in Uzbekistan. I think this quality is very important to be very determined. I believe if you want to become champion in any field, this never give up attitude is must. And to some extent, I'm able to inculcate this habit. So I would like to share one small incident which happened in 2017 where I was playing my National Women's Senior Championship at Mysore. And I lost my first round against a very talented 1400 rated player, Rindhia from Tamil Nadu. And that was the moment where I decided not to give up. There were still 10 rounds in the tournament so after that round I decided to quickly shift all the focus in my present bed of hard and I was only looking at the positive sides and I managed to actually play well in the rest of the 10 rounds and I won the title so I think this attitude of never give up is very very important. Another important quality I feel is I'm always ready to experiment new lines, new openings. I think being chess player, we are very fortunate to have variety of openings, variety of lines where we can actually, you know, enjoy chess by learning, studying different lines, different structures coming out of those openings. I think it's it's important to learn different things, learn different structures, lines and enjoy chess. <laughs> I remember in 2016 when I won my Asian continental at Uzbekistan, my coach had asked me to play Chigor in defense against the top seed of the tournament, Sara Sadat. And yeah, I had won the game, had taken early lead in the tournament and repeated the same opening uh, against the Chinese player and won my game. So I think it's important to, you know, try new lines and see which line suits you. As we all know, it's very important to have a good friend circle who, you know, motivate us, especially during our difficult times. I'm very fortunate, very lucky to have true friends. Like whenever someone asks me who is your best friend, immediately only one person comes to my mind is uh, she Shreyas. She was my school friend. It's been almost 15 years since we have been really close friends. She has always been motivating me, supporting me. She keeps on inspiring me and um, yes, through you, through your channel, I would really like to uh, thank my friend Shreyas for whatever she has done for me. 
I consider myself as a very positive person. I try to consciously see something positive in everything. I would like to share one incident which happened in 2010. I was actually going to China for my Asian youth and at the domestic airport I had to change my flight from domestic to international and on the way I actually misplaced my luggage so I had to go to China with only my laptop bag. So when I reached there Uh, my coach uh, Raghunandan Gokhale sir he immediately you know tried to change my mood and he asked me not to worry about the luggage just focus for what you have come all the way to China to win the title to win the gold and he said that at least you have your laptop with you be happy I, I really was happy after listening to this and uh, I played well and I won the gold in a day in Asian youth I took it as a challenge and then after the tournament got over I did my shopping <laughs> I think it's it's very important to be positive always especially in the tough times and uh, never be upset try to see something good in everything i think out of all this is the most important quality for anybody and it's uh, self belief self trust really we have to believe in ourselves whatever happens and i remember during our olympiad camps our one of the coaches boris gelfand sir used to mention about self belief how important it is like we can even you know win the tournaments win the games just by having self confidence it's very important quality that one should have and i'm very happy that um, i could believe that i am i deserve to win this arjuna award and i'm the first goan women to have been conferred as we all know every sports person has to go through the bad patch in their career and it's it's very important how you take it like during that tough time it's very important to keep working that consistency should be there and apart from hard work should also focus on smart work i think hard work and smart work are very important in any field i feel very fortunate i feel myself very lucky to have been able to work with many strong trainers like dronacharya gode raghunandan gokhale sir with whom i have been working since last actually more than 18 19 years now also i have worked with uh, grandmasters ankit rajpara and master arvi ramesh sir and master chuchulov sir and master faruk amanato sir and now i have been part of the waka west bridge anand chess academy where i am very happy and fortunate to learn from great coaches there i think it's it's very important to believe in your coaches and trust their instincts trust their knowledge i think another quality which i like about myself is fighting till the last moment i take as example of uh, my previous asian continental i was totally out of form and i just could not you know all my decisions were turning out to be wrong on the board but i have never left from the tournament just to save my rating because i feel it's completely wrong and the chess goddess it's kaisa she will never like it i think it's very important to fight there will be situations where you have to give up or you have to fight and i have always chosen uh, to fight till the end and it's definitely it has rewarded me and in general i'm a very curious person i i like to really learn and uh, understand new things and very curious to learn them to know about them also i think this quality i have taken from sir my coach who always used to tell me that be like a sponge and absorb every knowledge every possible knowledge so i try to do that i really want to thank Sagar Amruta and the whole team of Chess Biz India for popularizing this beautiful game especially in the covid times i had never never ever expected that chess could be so popular thanks for streaming so many important tournaments covering them it's really nice to see chess players are getting recognition from the ministry from the central government and i, I really hope that all the youngsters all the talented champions will be getting arjuna award soon in the coming future I also want to congratulate little uh, pragananda for winning this award at such a young age i also want to thank my parents who really believed in me believed in my abilities supported me throughout my career and uh, i want to thank each one of you all the fans all the well wishers for sending in their wishes thank you so much